Leos and Tarot about to do a reading for the sign of Leo. Um, this, those, these videos are not going to be time stamped. This is the question who is lying to you. Um, I want you guys to keep in mind that it doesn't always necessarily mean the significant other. It could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be anybody. These are just channeled messages coming from spirit for you to know what is happening. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you that is interested in a personal reading, check the description box below. Right? You'll get all the information you need there. Let's see what Spirit has to say to the sign of Leo. <clears throat> okay, so we have the King of Swords in Reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. So, we have two turns here. So, there is definitely some kind of completion for the sign of Leo. Um, you all could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Could be a female um, air sign. Right? Um, but this person that you are dealing with is not making rational decisions. They are not using their head above their heart when it comes to dealing with money or even in this relationship. For some of you, um, you have financial freedom that I would say makes you kind of Ridiculous. For term of a better word. It makes you hard to deal with. Because of the fact that you probably have a good job and your own house and maybe a car or stuff like that. It's very hard to deal with you. Whether this is in a relationship or with your own family or probably your friends, I'm seeing that some of you are very hard to deal with because of the money that you have. And for others of you, um, whatever situation this is, it's, it's, a, it's a burden to you. And you feel like you have to carry all the responsibility of this relationship, whatever this relationship is. It could be love, it could be friendship, or it could be family. Okay. Seven of swords in reverse. So for some of you, you were feeling like you didn't get what you deserve, but you are finally coming out of that energy because the swords energy is all about what you take. <clears throat> And it's you believing that you're not getting what you feel you deserve. Hmm. The Empress. So for some of you, you are probably embodying this energy or the person that you are with is embodying this energy. Just like what I was saying about this individual here, whoever this person was that, um, that the energy came out straight to me, they are kind of... I don't know, a joke, I would say. This Empress energy is basically somebody that does make a good living. Has a house, has financial stability, knows what they want. 
knows where to invest. You know, that kind of thing. That's how I would explain the, the Empress energy. That's the simplest I could possibly explain it to you. For some of you, you will not be having a passionate new beginning with this air sign or with this person that is embodying this Empress energy. So it could be somebody in a well-standing position, I would say. And it's either you or this person um, one of you I'm, I'm getting you're not financially secure and the other one it has total financial freedom and I'm not sure which one of you is basically taking the other one for a ride I would say so this could be a rich family member and they are taking you for a ride or if this is a relationship it feels one-sided yeah and you know this is not what you want Leo this is not your wish fulfillment hmm. so although we have the ace of cups so although this person doesn't want a passionate new beginning with you, somebody else who is just as financially secure as you is about to offer you a brand new beginning in love. Hmm. Wow. And this is going to feel like some type of betrayal. That's strange. Okay, so who's ever, whoever the group of people that this is for, this is somebody that is financially secure. And they are offering to give you a brand new start in love. But for some of you, you are feeling that this, like this person is going to betray you. Or they have betrayed you. And this is not what you want anymore. Hmm. Okay. Clarify the ten of wands. Because for some of you that have been through this ten of swords betrayal here, where this person betrayed you ultimately yeah you don't see them as your wish fulfillment anymore and i think for some of you you are being showered with gifts and showered with money because this person know they screwed up but you don't feel that anymore you want to move out and move on i'm hearing so for some of you you're probably living with this person i would guess Oh, three of pentacles. It's the burden that some of you carry, the fact that you realize you were in a third party situation. It could be that. Or it could be some of you starting a business. Hmm. But the next card out is the nine of pentacles. This is some of you wanting to stay single because of this betrayal. Some of you are choosing to stay single. Some of you know you can take care of yourself. And some of you are definitely moving out, I'm feeling. Hmm. Four pentacles. And for some of you, you are definitely not going to be as free with anybody else as you were with this person hmm okay all right so i will pull one card now to see the most likely outcome for either one of these scenarios and what spirit is telling you guys hmm 
we have the chariot card. I think I did another reading earlier on and they got the chariot card as their answer as well. I did the earth signs first so maybe you guys if you all are dealing with the earth sign you could check the videos. I can't really remember which one of the videos that this was the outcome for as well. This is the universe telling you to move on. This is you moving on with haste. This is you taking off in a direction that you would be comfortable in. Yeah, for some of you, you are learning that money isn't the answer to everything. Too many cards for it. So for some of you, you definitely need to move on, move forward with peace from this situation. Page of Cups in Reverse. So for some of you that are moving out from this situation, you are definitely not going to be taking any messages from this person when it, regards, when it comes to love. Wow. Knight of Cups in Reverse. Any message this person sends to you, any offer they give to you, you're definitely not taking it either. Wow. Queen of Wands. You could be moving forward with as a fire sign or this could be you standing in your own power deciding that you will make your decisions passionately for yourself standing in your own power wow this was a nice reading so whoever is lying to you leo you are some of you are definitely going to be walking away from that money or not financial stability or not and for some of you you are definitely going to choose to remain single okay for who this resonates with please leave a comment in the description um, in the comments below i'd love to read your comments all right well have a good day